and then that play we had earlier marked with the E, what we're going to end up doing is finding the center of this and cutting out a notch for this extruder right here and then another notch for this screw to set into and that's how we'll mount this we use the inside of this find the middle Okay, now we have this part cut out from our plate roughly halfway. Should be the width of the screw. So it sits in there nice. You don't need too much. And actually, the edge of this mounting plate should pretty much line up and leave room for that screw to go in should line up with the um, the tensioner for the filament let me just put this in here for the moment just to hold that on because it'll sit something like this now we just need to cut out a notch over here for this screw because we don't want this to have any side to side movement so we'll just get this lined up that way and mark a spot that spot marked and we'll cut this down we'll cut a notch into here then the plate will be part of the way done okay so now we have it so that everything fits in there roughly this is what the plate looks like the larger six millimeter or to fit the six millimeter screw the filament guide goes in the middle then off to the side this lines up that way this is what the mounting plate should look like this will attach to the actual printed extruder carriage these bolt holes attach it to the extruder carriage these notches are where the extruder itself locks in um, notice that these are countersunk because we use a screw that has a beveled machined head. Um, the size of this screw is, these are 632, they probably don't need to be a half inch, I mean it'll work but and we'll attach this to the extruder carriage. Mine are a little bit tapped, so I have to actually screw these in. They won't just push all the way through. And that's just because of the size drill bit that I used.
Okay, as with the stepper motor and attaching it, we are going to add some washers to these spots just to give some separation and allow airflow for cooling between the mounting plate which could be subjected to heat and the plastic. That'll end up keeping just a thin gap between the plastic extruder carriage and this mounting plate. It also serves as maintaining the gap on the front end where we'll be placing our heat shield, which is just a angled piece of aluminum, just enough to keep the front of this extruder carriage from being exposed to direct radiant heat from the hot end. And that's how it ends up being mounted. I've already put nuts on the bottom part of this and our extruder will fit right here. Underneath this plate, we have a heat shield made out of a piece of angle, angled aluminum, same width as the plate itself, which is two inches. And I did put a curve on this just to sort of match the form of the extruder carriage. And it just sits in there. Tightening these screws down can also help pinch this pinch, pinch the heat shield in even more that's the extruder installed